Hey everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Rival here and well we uh, end the last video we heard General Harris and Dr. Elizabeth Sobek give us well what Zero Dawn really was now me I've heard this all before but I can still remember when I actually first heard it when I was playing the game for the first time I remember Red Moogle was sitting with me because she was just enthralled by the story and we both just sat there and went, ow. Oh. Because the monumental scale of that is just so big. Anyway, time to keep going. There's lots and lots still to find. Okay, we got another bit of data here. Um... Text points, data, uh, text point data quests, okay. You're now in the possession of the information regarding the true nature and purpose of Project Zero Dawn, classified far above top secret. As such, we regret you cannot be allowed to leave this facility. There are three options available to you at this point. Please consider each carefully. Trained counselors are standing by to assist you making your choice. Participation. You'll be assigned to a sub-project team based on your area of expertise. You should be aware that the way forward will be difficult and the project's outcome uncertain. You will be expected to work a minimum of 80 hours per week, and your communications with family members will be strictly limited and monitored in real time. Upon successful completion of the project, you and your immediate family, or two persons of your choosing, will be transferred to Elysium, sealed habitat, to live out the remainder of your natural lives. Indefinite Detention should you choose to decline participation in Project Zero and Dawn, you will be confined uh, indefinitely. You will be given 48 hours to reconsider, after which your decision to refuse participation will be considered irrevocable. Every reasonable effort will be made to make your term of confinement as comfortable as possible, but you will not be permitted contact with the outside world, and death within 18 months due to the Faro Plague is inevitable. When Zero Dawn facility is abandoned, detainees who do not wish to opt for medical euthanasia will be released. So when the facility is abandoned, when there's nothing left to be done, you can have medical euthanasia, which basically means they give you a lethal injection, or you can be released into a world that is probably not got a breathable atmosphere anymore and is covered with machines that will quite happily dissolve you immediately. Medical euthanasia. The information you've just received is understandably calls into question the purpose of continuing to live. If you wish to prefer to end your life at this point, pain-free medical euthanasia is available. A 48-hour period of uh, waiting period is required during which time you may instead opt for participation or confinement. Please notify the counsellor when you're ready to make your choice or if you have further questions. Understandably, there's people who are just going to go, what? Um, I'm not sure if we've missed one. Sometimes they're a little bit further on. They're not popping up like in order as they come on screen type thing. Um, so, oh, look, looks like there's one down there. There you go. Counselor guidelines too. It was one popping up. Yeah, you go. See, there you go. Debriefing after presentation two. This is vitally important that candidates choose to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly without additional coercion, or without value, judgment, or part on the part of the council. Confirm for candidates that they have select that they were selected due to their skill sets and accomplishments. Emphasize that the dedicated participation in Zero Dawn will increase the project's chances of success. Frame participation in Zero Dawn as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of overwhelming threat. Candidates may question the fairness of their selection, validate such objections as normal, even admirable responses, emphasize their value of a candidate's expertise to the future, not just of humanity, but terrestrial life as a whole. Likewise, can uh, candidates may balk at the morality of extending their lifespans and those of loved ones beyond zero day, validate their hesitation, acknowledge that while the reward of Elysium is not fair, it will be earned. If possible, redirect their ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. When candidates challenge the plausibility of Project Zero Dawn, permit them to view, review Dr. Sobek's presentation as many times as they wish and allow access to a supplemental articles of G01 through P20. Allow them to suspend the interview and fully process this documentation. 
a significant min minority of candidates will elect for medical euthanasia. It is important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. Advise them of the 48 hour waiting period, during which counsellors will be available to discuss their decision. Emphasise that euthanasia will not occur without repeated consent and the procedure is scheduled to take place. No one will be euthanized against their will. Candidates who elect indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours to reverse the decision, after which the decision will be data corrupted. Well, it's basically irreversible. We know that. We just read that. But they don't want people to feel like they have to take part. They want them to do it freely. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I... Uh, the, the, the damage that I... Well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That, that's the, the, the better than rapid innovation. I, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. That is motivation. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I <laughs> wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family. I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... It's understandable. Some people just can't handle it, and... Everything about her knowledge and professional experience is saying it's too late. It can't be done. No family to speak of, all that put together. I don't agree with their decision, but I understand it. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Alert. Security, Medical for your protection. Attention. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist. A, a dangerous fantasist. He's kind of blue-skying. It's... Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. Oh, what are you... You don't... Get your hands off me! 
literally can't handle any of it. Okay, we've got some extra super rare things that we can sell. Let's see what's down here. Is there anything down here? Maybe a euthanasia thing? Can I climb up there? I don't think I can. No. No. I thought I'd be able to, but obviously not. Okay. Well, I had a look. Uh, nothing else seems to be in here, and we've done everything through this door, so... It's just... It's really well done how some people kind of see it as an opportunity to kind of save the race. Some people see it as an opportunity to atone for past sins. Others just everything in their training says nope. And then you've got some who just won't accept it at all. It's wrong. There's no way this is possible. Does this look like an area where you're going to get into a fight? Sneaky time. Intruder! Get her! Knew it. Found him. Whatever Found you do, don't die now. Ooh. Sneaky hole. I guess I'm going to have to use some medical plants then. Good job we've got these. Plenty around here to kind of pick up and find now, so I'd have to leave something else behind. Alright, let's drop these medical plants. Well, mushrooms, whatever. Right, I'm gonna go back to where we were because there was stuff there for us to pick up. And we've gotta make sure we get everything from everywhere. Uh there you go. So give us two bunches of mushrooms around here, that's nice. Them, what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. Powers down. For there to have been all this, and then I've done this before. Nothing. Just need and with Charles this. Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option. Thank you. 
counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake. I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe anyway. So he's going to do everything and then go for a euthanasia. Not sure what I'd do. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. <laughs> but maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. <laughs> I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. <laughs> Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? And no, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? <laughs> Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> well, is Yeah, okay. That's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Zero dawn. It is art, in a way expression on the grandest scale but there is so much unfairness why was I chosen was it decided by committee by algorithm my family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history is this right dr. Suve Christina Suve yes I met a man another historian his fields of Bauhaus and the new materialists but he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. <laughs> of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Okay, I think we've got everything in the local area, so I'm gonna start wandering now. Here we go. Another one of these. I need to find the right configuration. Yep. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Park her out. Missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence. Turn that woman off. She, uh, voice was annoying. Right, what's this one? Okay, left, up, left, down, right. Okay, so... Done. We should check the door nearby. Yeah. So that one should be open. Just to make sure we're not missing anything. I think we are. Goes around to nowhere, okay. So I'm guessing we need an emitter for that. So it can tell us what the lock code is or something. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. 
Oh, going up. Still looking for things for us to. There we go. Found one. Looks intact. Ooh, hello. Nice big pile of stuff. Drop it down. Alright, so we need that in there. Yay. That should do the trick. Alright. Now let's get that door open. Up, left, down, right up. Oh, it's the wrong way around. I'm looking at the wrong way around. It's down, right, down. Down. Okay, sorry. Um, so it says down, right, up, left, down. So you need to be up. Unless I've got this, I'm doing this in the wrong order or something. I'm not sure. Down right, left. I'm going from the bottom up, but other way up as well. So down, left, up, right, down. I think. That did it. Yes. Or should okay. have power. So that the one you have to go from the bottom. Beyond it. That one's really annoying. You actually got to do it from the bottom of the order up to the top. But it's also reversed as well. It's, it's, just, it's cool, but it's just also really mean. Okay, new door. Let's roll. Hello. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Okay, first things first. Go stealthy. And give me my stealth outfit. This is going to have to be like super duper stealth. And let's find all the Eclipse people. One more marked and is that all of them? I can't be all. One, sweet. sure we're not missing anything either. This is a huge underground base, this one. He's dead, buddy. Just accept the fact he's dead. Rast always said, patience. Let's uh, move back to here. Okay, 
it's not said like everyone's dead. More people. Going back to my doorway. Seems to be the last one. So I managed to take him out really freaking quickly. Just got that last one to deal with, but I want him. Where are you going, bud? Talk to me. <sighs> That's the last of them. Oh, thank God. Or not. Oh, we got more. Anyway. Yeah. Get moving. You have to find Gaia. Wow. Alright, just a health potion. Screw that. Uh, we've got some mushrooms around here. We'll grab them. And we also want to make sure we don't miss anything. We're going to have so much of that glass to sell when we're finished here. Alert. Structural failure prevents access. Okay, so we can't get in there. Fine enough, okay. Well, there's gotta be another way in. We've got 79, apparently. Desert glass. Maybe even 80 at this point. Not seeing any... Bits and pieces, sir. Uh... Got one over here. Simulation results. From Margot Shen to Elizabeth Sobek, simulation results. Wow, you weren't kidding about Guy's predilection for animal morphologies. Sure, not totally unexpected given the rough natural terrain her bots will have to navigate, but I agree that there's something deeper going on here. Her designs aren't just functional, they're almost, well, tributes to, is the word that comes to mind. As though her already, she's already mourning their loss. And not just for disappearing fauna of our time, but cr creatures from the fossil records too. References to a megafauna of some of her designs. So cool. Well, whatever Gaia thinks up, Hephaestus will empower her to build it. I just wish we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes. It does kind of suck that no one, none of them. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. 
As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a mastersmith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulations, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. Yeah. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. Mm. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Yes. Why? Full steam ahead. Elizabeth, so back to Margot Shen. Full steam ahead. Margot, if I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you for the Festus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Case in point, the latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos to store raw materials is excellent. This combined with your decision for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail, consult with, I can't say her name, so I'm not going to, before you finalize the silo inventories. Avesta's first task will be to fabricate the robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation codes. So any exotic materials needed for the tower should be accounted for in the inventory plan. I like the way that you actually just walked in. There it was. And you, if you want to, you can press that button again and listen to the whole thing again if it catches you off guard. Which it will sometimes do. I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. Give me stuff. Okay, so... I think this area is done. Moving on. I'm gonna keep an eye out for any extra bits and pieces, any data, any pickups, anything. Because we're gonna need it. If not now, or soon, we're gonna need it down the line. So I wanna make sure we have everything we, we could possibly want or need. Hey, cultist sniper. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Indeed. Keep looking. More eclipse. Careful now. Let's try and mark them all. This might run into three videos, guys. Unfortunately, we're at 35 minutes and we're still going through Zero Dawn. 
Sneaky, 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 sneaking all around. You can't see me, I'm sneaky, sneaky. Oh, the end, we're gonna have to deal with them at some point. Welcome to Apollo. The collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Mm. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. Wow. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. That's huge. Just think of everything you know. Basically put onto a single computer chip that someone else could learn. Now do that for every person alive in the world today. Each with their own computer chip. And then do it for everything that humanity has ever accomplished and every single person who's ever lived in history. And you get some kind of idea of just how big that is. And they were going to do it in around 18 months. Encapsulated DNA. Somalia to Elizabeth, encapsulated DNA. And the winner is encapsulated DNA. Over the past 10 days, I've performed an exhaustive review of data storage solutions, magnetic, optical, quantum, even eternity tech that Faro automated systems was chilling a year or so ago, but every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings. Too heavy to transport, too massive to install into the allocated space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure, past three to four hundred years, etc. Encapsulated DNA will easily hold up to 40 plus zettabytes when projecting for hollow. Uh, Apollo, sorry. There are still many details to finalize, of course. To start with, we need to select an inert material in which to embed the molecules already testing 16 candidate materials, as well as design, fabricate the power systems and sealed reliquies, or whatever that is, uh, to keep the DNA at minus 18 degrees centigrade for 1,000 plus years. Also, I assure you that it didn't factor, that it didn't factor into my decision may I confess I deemed it as entirely fitting indeed prepetitious that we will be using the very building box of life to preserve human knowledge from mechanized extinction. And it's not just ironic but heroic. Life as the hero, beating back the forces of oblivion. In any case, much to do until next time. Peace be with you. Damn man. 
Okay, looks like we're going to have to go and take those guys on next. Apollo update. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of copy of Homer archive from Far Zenith has made itself known. As a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete, with soft science modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to the falling short of our global goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed that goal from the outset with attendant curricular development about to begin. Speaking of heuristic curricula, they're performing well in testing, with, with children and adolescents demonstrating high levels of engagement with and trust in the Aristotle and I can't say that personality. Oh, well, I'll forget it. Personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate, which half of my professions have been so entertaining. Please be with you. So they were literally building everything, and that was in two months they'd already got to that point. Uh, can I get into there? No. Looks like we're going to have to go through there to see those guys. We've got more down the end. This is going to be a real... All of this lost. The ancient's greatest gift to us. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. And this is where I'm going to call it for today, guys, because this is not going to be an easy fight. They are moving around all over the place, and I don't want to get trapped in there in the middle of a fight. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel and like this all, please do consider subscribing. Big thank you to my patrons for all their support without them this lot is not possible i was hoping to get this done in two videos but um yeah that's not gonna happen until next time you like to care yourself i'll see you there bye bye